What's up watchers and game enthusiasts, Will here with a video for you and hot off the heels of E3 and the announcement of Doom Eternal, we actually have some news regarding the upcoming Doom direct to video reboot which just finished wrapping. Thanks to Omega Underground, one of the audition tapes seems to have confirmed some more classical elements from the franchise that will be appearing in the film. The audition tape is from actor Akie Kotabe for the role of Dr. Koji, and in the three minute dialogue for the tape, the first scene has Dr. Koji describing the base setting for the film and seems to elaborate that we are no longer on Earth, rather it is in fact Phobos, one of the moons of Mars. He says, Phobos is one of the most unstable environments in the solar system, that's why it's called the Doomed Moon. So that's where your title may come from. The second scene seems to revolve around a system malfunction and facility meltdown that may destroy the base and potentially the entire moon unless they do something. The third scene talks about teleportation across light years. The implication is that these creatures that are attacking them may also be the reason humanity has advanced so far as there is Cimmerian, not Sumerian like Gozer from Ghostbusters, symbols on their slabs and walls. There's also mention of advanced technology, so we know the monsters aren't stupid, but they are certainly very hostile. Then, scene four, the most interesting of them describes some of the weapons that we will see throughout the film. Dr. Koji says, Bearing Infusion Gun 9000 series. It fires a green burst of plasma. One plasma hit is the equivalent of 120 bullets. He follows up later with, Gun's been around for a few years. The problem is the plasma cells don't hold the charge for very long. Also have a few grenades here, very powerful, but the bearing infusion gun was the crown jewel. Of course, no one in R&D called it that. The off-screen male asked, what did they call it? Dr. Koji replies, smiling, the big fucking gun. So at least it seems like they got that part right. All in all, this leak does a better job at selling the movie than the previous first batch of information did, and judging by our comment section, not too many people are excited for a small screen Doom reboot. But there are also elements here that seem to imply they will lean a little bit more heavily into the whole hell portal aspect of the franchise. However, I'm still wondering how this will all play out in the long run. You can show me the BFG and interesting sets and even give me demons, but in the end it will all come down to execution and if we're going to see some good people going ham on hell spawns. So let us know down in the comments below what you think about this new information for the Doom reboot. While you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Hybrid Network. Also, make sure you check out our website and hit that bell to be notified of new content. I'm Will, and I'll see you next time.